Hi guys, welcome to another video. Those of you who wanted to know a little bit more about different types of spear gun rubber, what we're gonna do here is try and demonstrate the different types available from around the world. Basically, the purer the latex, we believe, the better the elasticity you're gonna get, the more durable the rubber is. There's two basic ways to make it. One is a dipped process, much like candles are made in the dipped wax. That is a more expensive method, but definitely seems to be a lot more durable. There's also an extruded one. I battled to find some of this. This is a piece, looks very similar, works to some degree. But what we're gonna demonstrate here is the difference in the notch toughness. We are going to do stretch tests, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna show you the toughness of the material when you tension it, when it's got a cut in it. The extruded rubber is very poor, and the problem with it, it'll work fine, but if you lay your gun down on a reef while you're trying to extract uh, a fish you've shot with another gun, or you're busy trying to catch crayfish, that rubber under tension just touches a sharp barnacle and destroys itself. Much cheaper rubber, but it could upset your day's diving or the trip you're on can become a costly problem. Let me demonstrate. For this demonstration, I've got seven different variations. The only one I have of the extruded is green. I have a 14 and 16 from our brand. Another supplier, also 14, 16, and another supplier. So there's three different suppliers of the dipped and one of the extruded. I'm gonna cut about halfway through. It's a little bit more than half, but looking at it already, it tears extremely easy. I'm gonna cut a little less. That's about halfway. Again, pretty much no effort. You cut even less. You see there, maybe a third. Again, the notch toughness is extremely poor. Let me try a little cut, small little cut. A little bit more effort, but to be able to break it in one hand, not a good thing. Let's try a 16 mil. You can see that's also a little bit less than halfway through. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hold this a lot tighter. That's clamped up very tight, and I'm holding on it very tight. You can see by how small a diameter it's got to. No problem. Let's try the 14 mil. Same supplier, also same procedure, dip. That's at least halfway through. As you can see, extreme stretch, not shearing. Could probably load this on a gun and use it in that state, no problem. Next manufacturer. Again, Cut right through to the inner hole. Let's clamp that up. Again, extreme tension.
it hasn't torn at all. Same manufacturer, slightly different color configuration. It's all black. Basically made the same way. That's at least 50%, it's right through to the inner hole. Same again. Again, just as expected, no difference. Now, we'll go on to our own brand, made in the same technique. Well, it's even more than halfway through. Same result. Zero tearing on that. Let's move on to the 14 mil. Same Rob Allen brand supplier. Again, more than 50% through. The inner hole very visible. Let's load her up. You can see by how much that hole opens and not giving. Hasn't changed, did not tear. Let's go back to the extruded. Now I can only show you what's happening with this specific manufacturer. I don't even know who this manufacturer is, but you can see it's extruded by the marks on it. It's got small extrusion marks. That tore very little. Please, if you guys feel you've got a extruded one that's better, I'd love to get samples and I'll have no problem showing how strong yours is, if it is good. Small cut, tiniest little nick. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that actually holds a bit better. But you can see how small that is. It still breaks. I was pulling way harder on all these others. So, our opinion, proof of the pudding is extruded, not so good, dipped way better. Point of interest, you cannot have a color on the outside if it's extruded. Extruded will always come in one color, whereas dipped can have multiple colors or solid. You can make it the same way using one color. These you can all see different cores to the color outside. The wall thickness on the color can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. The thickness we go with seems to be the best for cosmetics in terms of when it starts to crack, if it gets old, it won't go through the blue into the clear underneath. So I hope that sets some people's mind at rest, what the difference is between cheap and expensive rubber. Stand by for the next.